Are you thinking about writing a book? Well, if you are, I encourage you to be a Tiger Woods of book writing. That's right, Tiger Woods. Tiger Woods to me is somebody who's confident, practices, is outgoing. He doesn't listen to negative people. If you have the passion in your heart and you want to tell a story, tell it. Start writing. I recently had this book published a few days ago and I've had many people come up to me telling them that they want to write a book too. I've had people want me to coach them on writing a book. Here are some quick hitters to help you get started on your book, to help you start telling your story. Now the first thing to do is don't get discouraged when you tell your friends and family that you want to write a book because they're not always going to be positive. They might say that you won't do it, the books don't sell, you can't do it. They'll try to give you many reasons why you can't do it. Don't listen to the naysayers. Don't listen to the critics. Don't listen to yourself if you start saying negative things to yourself. Believe in your heart that you have the passion, the dream to make it happen. Start writing your book. Another tip is to turn off the TV, cell phone, any distraction you have. That way you can just let it flow. Flow from your heart. Don't worry about punctuation, spelling. All that can be fixed later. Just let it flow. Tell your story. Say what you want to say. Then another tip to build your book is to start a blog website. Write an article every week or every month. And before you know it, you'll have a, enough material for your book just out of the articles on your blog website. A good format I use, which is easy to use, is WordPress. Easy to build a blog website and some are even free out there. Next thing you do after you've written your story and you have it all together, hire a good editor. That will cost you two to six cents per word of your book, so be prepared for that. But find a good editor. You can find them on elance.com. Talk to your friends. But hire the editor. Have them go through your book. Then find a publisher. Again, don't get discouraged if you send out 100 letters to publishers and they all come back negative. Nobody wants to pick up your book. Don't let that bother you. There's self-publishing companies out there that you can hire, such as lulu.com. Very inexpensive to get your story out, to get your book out. So don't let that discourage you. Next thing you do, get a photographer. Get a professional photo of yourself for either your book cover or for inside your book. Best investment you'll have. Now you have your photo of yourself. Hire someone who is good with graphics. Have them make a cover of your book. That's right, your book cover. They say most books sell just by the book cover alone. Unless you're Win Oprah Winfrey and then anything will sell. Or if you got a good looking photo of like I do, then people are just going to buy it because you're good looks. <laughs> Next, so we have a publisher, we have our photo, you have your website, you've got the content, you've got your book cover and you've got your editor. Now the book's published. Next, you have to sell your book. Good way to do it is through social media. Use Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn. Ask your friends to tell their friends about it. Ask their friends to tell their friends about it. Have a spider web to thousands of people telling them about your story, about your book, and ask them to purchase it. Great way to get sales for your book. Now don't get discouraged if you think my friends and family isn't buying my book because that is a common feeling above authors. Believe it or not, probably a lot of your friends and family won't buy the book. But same as when I was in coaching school and hypnosis school, they said your worst customers will be your family and your friends because they don't see you as a healer. They don't see you as an author. 
They just see you as a friend that you golf together, or whatever you do together. So don't let that get you discouraged. So another way to sell your book is like Tim Ferriss said, he wrote the four hour work week, is to talk to groups. Talk to as many groups as you can about your book, about your story, about the passion you have inside you about this book. Great way to get it out there. I talked to a small group of 50 people after a Toastmasters contest last Friday night. Out of 50 people, 10 people bought my book. Not too bad. So if you play the numbers, the more people you talk to, the more books you'll sell. So I encourage you today with these tips to start writing your book. Start telling your story that you want to tell. If you have any questions or want to hire me as a coach, just send me an email at bruce at millsway.com or visit my website at millsway.com. Also, I'd be interested if you drop me an email and tell me what you got out of this video. Did it help you in a certain way? I tell you, it's a great feeling when someone read your book and they tell you what they got out of it. Thank you. Have a great day and follow your dreams. Make it happen.